Ian, thanks for coming in. Good to be with you as always. Thank you. All right, so early morning focus on the JSC today was yes. on Bidfest. Now, the company yes. losing 70% or dropping 70% to 113 Rand. Uh, see, after the group unbundled its food business, Bidcorp. How do you think investors looked at that? Well, I think what they're looking at, uh, Bid, Bidcorp, which is going to be the new standalone food sector, yep. uh, was a major profit uh, contributor, a major revenue contributor, and a large part of the business. And I think they're saying, well, look, this can stand alone. It's not only going to be attractive to local shareholders, Foreign shareholders will, will also, I think, be interested. It's going to have a total market value of about $5 billion. That's a decent-sized business. Yeah. So uh, I think that shareholders will like this, to concentrate on where the money, great, the great cash source is. And Bitfest time and time again proving that they know how to do that. Yes, yes. And I think Brian Joffe saying he will still be there on that board is, is encouraging. Indeed. All right, but uh, you look at the uh, fast food franchise, famous mm. brands, again also, very, very good showing, 16% rise in mm. revenue. It shows it's not just pizzas and burgers that people are buying, but for this particular company, I see the logistics and manufacturing arms also doing well. Yes, well, of course, that is supplying to, supplying to, their, uh, to their own uh, network. Um, and I think what it is, I've had the, 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 the encouragement in speaking to them, in their saying that the, the, the habits of the average South African consumer are changing. You know, we've got younger couples particularly, both need to work, that's just a question of practicalities, mm -hmm. and with that in mind, it's not always easy to go home and make dinner, whichever one of the partners is going to do that, and so there's more of a tendency to eat out or to pick up something on the way home, just practicality and time saving. Yep. Not so good, though, Ian, was the Tonga Ulet. Now, I mean, yes. as an industry at the mercy of Mother Nature, Absolutely. it improved its irrigation programs, its agricultural programs, even power reliability is better, but the drought kicking in. The drought. The, you know, that is a big factor. And, of course, uh, electricity supply as well has been better than the last year, than the previous year, but still a little erratic, and that is a big problem. And, of course, the drought is not just South Africa. It's neighboring countries, which are big sources of, of, uh, of, of cane sugar. Mm -hmm. There is uh, Mozambique and Swaziland and Zimbabwe and they all have the whole region has got the weather problem we can't escape it just at the moment and despite the huge uh, business that they have in the property developments it's not enough to keep them going uh, at the same level as they were previously because if you look at the results I mean they didn't do really badly if you exclude the drought I mean here's a, here's yeah. a business that was sort of on a, on a good footing Yes, but, but uh, cane yields, were still, sugar yields, were still yeah. much lower than they had been, and I think this, the effects of the drought are unavoidable. And South Africa is very much, the agricultural sector, yeah. very much at the, uh, you know, a, a, at the natural rainfall problem. Yeah. Okay, so the petrol price goes up tomorrow night. Yes. I mean, that's a, that's a huge, steep increase, not just for the pockets of consumers, but I yeah. suppose businesses are going to feel this as well. Absolutely, because after all, b uh, diesel is going up by, I think, 72 cents. Now, that's a real shock to the whole business sector. Every part of business, the whole business uh, uh, affair, has got a sector that is, that is affected by the transport costs. It doesn't matter what that business is, and of course, it's normally diesel. That's uh, the fuel that is required. So I think we're going to see this coming through in the reasonably near future, certainly in the next couple of months, yeah. on producer inflation, number one, and number two, consumer inflation. We'll see it rippling through there as well. So the two main factors, the oil price and the rand, uh, direct impact on the price of petrol. We're not yeah, seeing the RAND doing very well. In fact, it's, it's going on the weaker side. Yes. So we've got we to be sort of watching out or cautious about that. Absolutely. And, and I think, you know, from the inflationary side, we're going to see the weaker RAND, higher imported, uh, uh, higher prices for all imported goods. Yeah. And, and this is going to have an impact. It will just further slow down an already slowing economy. Right, so uh, Janet Yellen, the U.S. Uh, Federal Reserve uh, head on Friday, saying that she thinks the time is appropriate for interest rates to go up pretty soon. Yes. And, of course, that pretty much determined market activity Absolutely. today, didn't it? Yes, that is the biggest factor regarding risk appetite. Yep. And, of course, remember also today is Memorial Day holiday uh, in the U.S., so, so that gives people time to think about it. And they can't think of anything positive, except that uh, if, if the time for a U.S. rate hike is coming closer, 
positive for the dollar, negative for everything else, negative for things that mean that matter to us. Just look at the gold price, the uh, the platinum price below a thousand dollars, and uh, you know negative for risk appetite. There will be a global movement of funds towards the dollar, where better returns are expected, and that's uh, not good for other currency markets. When that hike eventually does come, I mean that's going to be yes. a very important mark because yes. it could mean the cycle's initiated once again, doesn't it? Yes, it could. Yes, look, it is. A, it's an important. It, it will be. There will be a knee-jerk reaction, come what may. Although the markets will react, uh, will, will, will anticipate it. Nevertheless, uh, I think that it is saying we're getting away from the era of high-risk appetite. We're going to go into a safety first appetite yeah. from an investment uh, indicating point of view, and that is going to be primarily demand for the dollar. All right. Uh, Ian Cruikshanks, as always, lovely having you here Thank from you. the Institute of Race Relations. Thanks indeed for coming in. Thank you for being here.